At the Kentucky Department of Education, we are proud to offer you some virtual and digital experiences that should assist with your professional learning supports. And today we're going to focus on the getting to know the Kentucky Academic Standards Professional Learning Modules for Social Studies and Science. And we would like to highlight some areas of those modules that could be particularly important as folks are getting deeper or maybe just beginning standards implementation. Now for these professional learning modules, the purpose of those is to develop this deep understanding of the Kentucky academic standards. It's also there to show these connections between the components of the standards and how those components can support teachers in the process of designing their instruction and their assignments. And it also is there to help us experience how the changes in our standards look in our classrooms for our students. Now today we're going to pay particular attention to uh, our, our modules, social studies and science. I'm going to show you where to find them on kystandards.org. First you'll go to your standards resources and then you'll see both general and content area resources. You can find the modules in both places. You can see the general resources has just professional learning modules and then content area is specific. If you were to cl click on the professional learning modules, then you'll see these um, getting to know your CAS modules. Today we're just focusing on these two, but you can see that there are five different module sets that are in there that offer a facilitator's guide, the actual module, and a, a module at a glance document. Now let's look at social studies for a second, and these are four sections that even if you've experienced these modules would be really important for a refocus. So that's sections 1D through 1G, and let's take a look at what those are. They all are, offer a deeper dive into inquiry practices, and so the practices that we're particularly looking at are questioning, using evidence and communicating conclusions. And then in section 1G, this dives deeper into the discipline, discipline strands and concepts and practices. Now in section 1D, when we're talking about question, questioning, this is particularly about building the shared understanding of this inquiry practice of questioning as it's outlined in those social studies standards and helps teachers take a closer look at these characteristics of building compelling and supporting questions. In section 1E, it's looking at using evidence. So it's still one of the inquiry practices helping um, to build this understanding inside those standards and become more familiar with these components of using evidence and how to answer compelling and supporting questions. In section 1F, this is about communicating conclusions and you can see how these build on each other. And in this one is also about building this understanding around how to communicate conclusions and becoming familiar with this component of the um, standards for social studies. And in the last social studies section, it's dealing more with um, this discipline strands and concepts and practices. And it helps us build this understanding and become familiar with discipline strands within our standards and the concepts and practices. These sections will help you dive deeper into each of those and really gain a strong understanding as you build instruction and assignments for students in social studies. And so now let's take a closer look at the getting to know the cast for science module. And again, these are the sections we would really like to highlight because if you're familiar with the science standards at all, you know that there are three dimensions that make up each standard. So session B is going to take a closer look at the dimension of the disciplinary core ideas. Session C will focus in on the science and engineering practices. And then session D is going to take a closer look at the cross cutting concepts. Um, and it's really important that we understand each of these dimensions more in depth and how they are interwoven together to help build science understanding for our students. Session B is looking at those disciplinary core ideas. And the entire point of this is to really give an in-depth look at what is meant by this core idea and participants are going to get an opportunity to really explore the progressions of the major core ideas across the different grade levels so they have that full scope of understanding of the K-12 progression to see where their grade level fits in. In addition, this session is going to explore the engineering and technology standards to really help us have a better understanding of the core ideas that help to define that engineering process. 
Session C will look at that second dimension of the science and engineering practices, and these practices are meant for students to use. The students are engaged in utilizing these practices as they gain better understanding of those core ideas. And so within this session, participants are going to get to really explore each science and engineering practice, the key characteristics or components that make up those practices, as well as the progression of that practice over time across the grade levels. And then in that final session, um, looking at the cross cutting concepts, it's, it's a very similar structure. It's going to give participants an in depth look at how the cross cutting concepts, how do they progress over time, and what are the key characteristics or components of each of those cross cutting concepts. And like Jackie said earlier, all of these are working together to create and develop that in depth understanding of the science concepts for our students, but it's about designing classroom instruction that engages students within these three dimensions of the science standards. So thank you for taking the time to watch this video today. And as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to send those to standards at ky.gov.